This year, we are unable to hold our annual carol service when we would all come together to celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. The following musical pieces and readings celebrate the birth of baby Jesus this Christmas time. I would like to thank all who have contributed to this virtual carol service and may I wish every one of you a very blessed Christmas and a happy, peaceful, prosperous New Year. Christmas, but predicted centuries before they ever happened. In the Bible, the prophet Isaiah reveals that one day a child would be born who would not be an ordinary child. He would be a king who would live forever. He would be a perfect king. The following reading is taken from Isaiah 9 verses 2, 6 and 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. And he will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. <laughs>
word 1,000 years and a young girl from Nazareth is given unbelievable news by an angel. God has chosen her to be the mother of his child. Mary is confused but obedient. The angel tells her that the baby will be a son, a perfect son. Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 35. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what sort of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel how this would happen. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Israel was part of the Roman Empire. Caesar wanted a census and everyone had to register in their hometown. Mary travels with her fiance Joseph to Bethlehem and the child who was promised 1000 years before takes his first gulp of, of the cold night air. The perfect child was born. Luke chapter 2 verses 1 3 to 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken 
of the entire Roman world and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David because he belonged to the house of the line of David. He went there to register with Mary who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. <laughs> Santa's list. Naughty, nice. Of course. We all know he gives nice presents to those who have earned their place on the nice list. After all, he's only interested in the good little boys and girls. But the good news, according to Tesco's, is that this year there is no naughty list. Yay! Actually, I'm not sure if I've ever been on the nice list. I mean, I can't be good all the time. Nobody can. People get jealous of other people. We all twist the truth to make ourselves sound better, don't we? Sometimes you just don't do things because you can't be bothered. The Bible tells us none of us are perfect. None of us are on the good list. Being imperfect means we can never be good enough for God. Jesus lived the perfect life we can't live. He was punished, not because he was imperfect, but because we are. Only when we realize that and hand our messy lives over to him will God look at us and see perfection. We can't earn our way onto the good list because there's only ever one person on that list. His name is Jesus. We need him. We need to trust him with all our lives. Nice, naughty, we all need a saviour. This reading is taken from Romans chapter 5 verses 8 to 11. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in the wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God.